Good morning everyone. It's Monday. It's the start of a brand new week and we have so many really cool deals to show you on today's show. So I'm so excited that I'm here doing the show. Um, and we've got Rachel in the demonstration station. Um, she's going to be showing us through all of these products. Hello. We're going to be doing some really cool demonstrations. Yes, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm excited, so excited. because like Prism... Different. Prism as a range is um, what we sort of have all of our more arty things under. It's all of our colour and mediums that go under the, the sort of name, the umbrella um, of Prism. But it means Massive that it's really umbrella. fun. It means that they're sort of techniquey things. Um, they're items that you can have loads of... Um, you can experiment with. So it's not going to be a really quick sort of thing yeah. to do. It's something that you can sit down, take time, yeah. um, learn how the products work, which is you really fun. You can do fun. so much with it. Yeah. And you can do like what you want with it yes. as well, which is which so is, cool. It's fun because yeah. it, you make it how you want it to be. So that's what we're doing today. We are continuing our Prism brand takeover. There's amazing multi-buys, there's improvements on those. We've got back in stock offers, which I'm we are both really excited oh, about. We've There's been waiting about like, yeah. like maybe a year, <laughs> maybe more than that. Know. Who knows? Um, but it's going to be really cool. There's loads of special prices running across this whole range until Thursday this week, which is gives you loads of time to choose what you want, to choose what you want to try with, um, for us to try and tempt you with some <laughs> extra special treats. So that's what we're going to do today. But before we get to that, of course, we've got a Win It Weekly competition. So this week, five people, five people wow. are going to be in with the chance of winning our Forever Florals um, Summer Splendor Collection. This is a really cool kit. In here, you're going to get four different topper sets, but you do get two of each. You've got plain cardstock and foil cardstock. So it's going to be perfect for all those really bright cards that you want to create um, this year for all your special um, the people in your life. The, it's going to brighten anyone's day, this collection. Definitely. If you want to be in with the chance of winning, this is the question that you need to answer. Are we ready? So you need to like, share and comment on this video. How long is a moment? Wow. Who can... <laughs> Surely that's not even a thing. Surely there's not a an mo exact time. No. Like, like a, a moment could different. be... That's weird. Okay, that so... I've got an idea. No, but... <laughs> what, one of your crazy ideas? <laughs> is a moment something to do with... Morning, everyone, by the way. Is that, oh, yeah, Dan's here. I forgot to say <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Is a moment something to do with music? Is a moment a... Oh, I might no. be completely wrong. But like no, I think that's got a special music. name, hasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Who know. knows, but it's either 90 seconds, um, 7 seconds, or 25 seconds. How long is a moment? Let us know, and you could be winning this topper set. Five people, in fact, on Friday's show. Um, all you've got to do is like, share, and comment um, on this video um, to be with the chance of winning, which is really cool, because this is a really good topper set, and you can win it completely free just by answering that question. So, um, now we've run through all the little bits and bobs for the day. Uh, let's get straight into it and have a look what is coming up on today's show. We don't have a VT, do we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get straight into it this way then. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Um, we will go straight into it with our big back in stock product. Are you ready for this? Because you're going to absolutely love it. Our watercolour pencils are back in stock, but not just our watercolour pencils. The bundle, <laughs> which includes the um, ham Crafting Handbook Volume 2 and... I'm building suspension. <laughs> They're back, people. They are back. Our water brushes are back in stock. People have been asking for these. I've been asking for these. Rachel's yes. been asking for these for absolutely months. We've been using probably one set between, between maybe like <laughs> five people, um, which during at the moment when everyone's at home and different people are all over the place, it's, it's been tough. It but been our watercolour tough. brushes are back in stock and you can buy these individually as well. But as a bundle, it's the best way to get them. So you've got your 
um, brushes here which contain, uh, they're really, pens sorry, they're really really cool. So you've got in here all of your watercolour pencils. Now watercolour pencils are really cool to colour with. There's lots of different reasons why but something that I think a lot of people don't realise is that you can do so much yeah, with a pencil. The I different know. techniques that are in that handbook and it's filled and filled with loads of things um, that you can do with all of these pencils and look at the array of colours you've got here. They're fantastic. I have not used my watercolour pencils in a really long time because we haven't had them in like we haven't had them to be able to use them. Um, but I absolutely love them. They come in this really fun carry pack. So if you're someone pack who well. likes to craft like on the on the road, you like to take your pencils with you while you're on holiday, maybe sketch out something that you're, when, whether you're sat in the sun or by the sea, they're perfect. They have this really cool little flap which goes over the top and that protects all of your nibs, stops them falling out. Um, and then it just rolls up into this really handy sort of, um, carry case that you can just pop into your bag um, whether it's a, a travel bag or just a handbag you can do that you've got this little space here as well which is great to fit in your watercolor pencils your rubber your maybe a regular pencil um, a sharpener for when you need to sharpen um, your pencils but it does say in the book about sharpening your pencils actually the best way to do it is with a knife isn't it Dan? It certainly is. You do I it with a knife so. so then you can just wrap that up and away you go. The colours as well, um, because they are watercolour pencils, change depending on how you use them. So if you're just going to use them as flat colours, um, you can see on the board you've got these darker shades and the lighter shades. So the darker shades are where we've just added the colour here um, in a crosshatch motion, um, which is where you go one side and then down so you get a real vibrant colour. And then second, we've done that same technique but we've added water here. Um, to dilute it. So you can mix and match the colours, you can create your own sort of palettes if you use like a, a sort of um, station where you can mix your colours, you can um, just use your knife to take a bit of colour off the pencil itself um, and then create like a, a paint with it which you can colour in your stamps, you can colour in your backgrounds, um, but such a wide variety of colours in here and you can really see um, how it sort of moves into tones and different shades. Um, they're so much fun to do with. I think probably maybe the maybe the easiest yeah. that we have in the Prism collection. Yeah, I think because like you could just use it as block colour as well, and and you don't have to like you know even though they are watercolour, you don't have to use water if you don't. No, want to. So no, you can just use them easy. straight away. Um, the handbook's really cool as well, so inside this handbook you're going to get all tips and tricks about how to get the best from your pencils. So if you're someone who has never used watercolour pencils before, um, then this is really, really insightful. So in here you've got sort of a guide to all the, the pencil colours, because obviously when we do our um, magazines and we've coloured in with pencils, we'll have the names for you to use so you can see which colour um, is which. And this is just sort of laid out in the same way that your pencils are laid out in the um, carrier when you receive them. So all about sharpening them, how to keep the, your pencils the best, um, sharpening alternatives so you can see there that you get different um, types of colour when you put it down depending on how you sharpen it, or your colour wheel so you can see how they mix and match, and then the fun really starts. I'm, not, I'm just going to flick through it because you've got so many different techniques in there and projects that you can follow yourselves um, to create your own cards like we've made in this book. So it's really a great price as well at $24.99 because this could be someone's Christmas present because they're not normally this price. So for £25, you're going to get a whole little sort of art collection here that you can um, pass on to someone and they're going to be able to use it. It's super, super handy. It's so sort of just movable. Like this is all the space it's going to take. Um, it's definitely one to get. Rach, you're going to do a demo with yes, these, aren't I you? Yes, I am, yeah. What stamps are we going to use? Um, so I'm using the designer. The new ones. Yeah, the oh, Christmas ones. Yeah. They are very fun. They are very fun. So I'm just going to get my pencils out. So I'm going to use a 5x7 card blank. I've got some watercoloured card. And then we're just going to get our stamp. You know what, I forgot my what stamping you press. You stamp? There's one <laughs> in the side press. there, Rachel. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. 
Right. I need. Let's try and. There you go. There's always something that I forget. Always. <laughs> so I'm just going to just stick this pay card down just with some purple tape just so it doesn't move. And I'm very quickly just going to stamp out my stamp. So this is a three by three by six and three quarter piece card. And I'm just going to use my Versafine just what, to um, quickly stamp it. What paper are you, have you used as well, Rach? I'm using the um, watercolour one, the premium one. Because that's quite important as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, Not definitely. only making sure that you're using the correct sort of tools and the correct inks, but the paper is also most important. Because if you don't um, use the right paper, um, which we do have an amazing, because we're doing prism, we need to give you the paper on a good deal as well. So yeah. it's, 30% off on any of our um, watercolour cards. So it's a really thick card. It's also got um, sort of a, it's not got a completely smooth surface. You've got those sort of ridges that you'd get in that sort of artistic um, pad that you'd spend loads of money on, um, but it's a, a really reasonable price and it works perfectly with your watercolour pencils with any um, prism product where you're going to add water we would always recommend that you use the watercolor card yeah and it is it's really thick it is a really good quality card there and i think it's so easy to color on yeah as well. um, so and you can create such nice sort of washes of color you don't have to go crazy with these pencils yeah well that's what i'm gonna do so i'm not coloring all of it in i'm just gonna this one this stamp's really good because you've got like the creases in a dress so I'm just going to go along those lines, so with my blue, and then we're going to use our water pen just to smudge them all out. So I'm just going to... And this is a really good technique. Way. I use this quite a lot when I'm using watercolour pencils. Yeah, it's so quick to do. It's really good to create quick colouring, um, but it gives you that sort of really... Um, like the detail, like, yeah, like you can the really detail, see like the detail it, it adds still in a it. lot of effect to the colouring just by just by doing this technique and you can do it a number of times as well. So if you don't think that the colour is dark enough, then you can go over yep, those sections right again. It's dry. Add in more blue. Um, it's a really good way of creating colour and it actually kind of looks like you've taken more time than Yeah, you I think once like you've finished it, it does look as though you've like really proper like concentrated on shading and you spent a lot of time but actually you really haven't you really really haven't so on some parts i'm just going to do like a circle effect just to so that it all blends in pulls that color out a bit more. yeah and then so it creates such a seamless finish as well it really does so we've done the dress now so i just wanted it so it's quite a, a light shade now i'm going to go in and just do a hair so with a hair, I've got like a, a caramelly brownie colour and we're just going to put a little bit into that. And then I've also got a darker brown just so then we can add all them different that shades. Sort of mix. And then we're going to do the same and just smudge and out the colour. You can create colour. some useful images so quickly with these pencils. You really can and also with the like hair the pencils are really good because you could leave like some of the lines that you can see like lines in it i think that would give it a, like a really good effect in a hair right so then we're just going to go in and do the stars so i've got a yellow for this now i want these stars to be quite bright so i'm going to color in the whole of the star and um, we are going to smudge it out with a bit of water but not too much and that's the great thing about these watercolor pencils as well is that they have this really cool you have to show it rach they have like a valve on your watercolor pencils so oh, yeah you are in control of how much water you want to sort of release from your pen so it actually says push as well so you and you exactly can actually see like the water moving through that that section where it's all <laughs> where it's darker you can see it. So if you if you want to add loads of water, if you want to create a really nice um, effect, if you want to do smooshing, um, you can do that with your water brushes because you can, add, you can add loads of water so it can sort of just 
throw the colour out everywhere. But if you want to be really detailed and do like small sections like Rachel's doing, then you can, you're can you in control of how much water comes out, which is good because I don't think you get that with like a, a regular paintbrush. No, you don't. Um, so you've got to like kind of make sure like that you're dripping it dry, yeah. don't you? But with these, they're really good. I mean, I like mine so it doesn't have that much water on the brush bit just because then it, then it's not too wet on the page so we're going to go in just with a lighter blue now just for the inside of her sleeve and with these pencils as well you can like if you wanted a, a deeper color you just have to like press on quite hard with it but if you wanted quite a light color then you don't have to i'm just going to do the wings so we're just going to do just around her body and then just over the top and then do the same with that just pull out all that colour and I'm just going to leave it so it's still quite dark around the top it's starting to look like one of those like um, a drawing that you would find in, like a character <laughs> character <laughs> yeah. in like a children's book um, yeah, it those does really it. light colours just flowing through Right, so now I've got another piece of watercolour card. This one is 5 by 7 So with this, I'm going to make like a background. So when I put this on, this bit will be covered on the left-hand side. So I want to do it. So, on the, so I'm going to hold my pencil so it's like that. So I'm just getting the side of it. So it's very lightly. And we're just going to just scribble over the page like that and then we're going to get a, a brighter yellow and just do the same so where the image is going to go on the left hand side we're not going to put that much colour on now I'm also going to get a peachy colour so this is what I use for a skin tone and I'm just going to go in again just to so that it brightens it up just a little bit I'm going to do a little bit more down here as well and then if you look very closely, you can actually see, like, is it the grading on the paper? Yeah. Grain. So it just adds that effect to it. And then I think I'm going to go in with an orange as well, just to so that we've got quite a lot of different colours. We're not going to go everywhere with that orange. It's adding a lot of te more texture to that cardstock, isn't it? It really has. And then I'm just going to go in with my watercolour pencil. Um, my water pen I'm going to use the medium tip for this one and I'm just going to pull out just some of that colour ah, not all of it though that's going to make it a lot more vibrant yeah and then you can like see them different colours and they're mixed together as well with the orange and the yellow so again with this if you did one your background so it is more watered down then you just have to just release some more water in your brush but I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm going to just get my sort of angel. I'm going to stick around with some foam pads and then we're just going to just quickly stamp a sentiment. It really looks like it's this is a page from a little, like a Christmas yes. children's book. I really love this stamp. And they're great to use with this, some of the stamps that we have in our collection that follow that sort of theme. So any of our acorn wood stamps that you might Definitely. have where it's really sketchy um, we've got some coming up um, for our new club gift that's coming oh, I at love the end ones, of the yeah. month they're very sketchy so they're perfect to use with um, watercolour pencils because it gives you that sort of feel um, what other ones have we got that are super sketchy um, oh. oh do you know what else our um, sketchbook stamp collection oh yeah they are yeah, perfect that would be really to use good. with the pencils because you've got all of those tiny little areas so you can really focus your colours um, on those areas. So different sort of colouring mediums work differently um, with different stamps. They work differently depending on what sort of feel you want to get with your um, colouring as well. So this, your p pencils in particular are good for that more sketchy look to your colouring um, that you can see that Rachel's done here, that really light sort of um, tone that we've got in this image. But there's so much more, and I'm so excited to show you. I know, I know. It's surprising how much that there actually is in 
like the prism range to be fair. Right, so I'm just going to go in um, with my pencil. So I've used the yellow and I'm just going to use a little bit of blue just to bring in the colour from the dress. Just and I'm just drawing some little lines around just so then it frames that top a bit. And then I'm going to get our card blank and our double sided tape and I'm just going to quickly just stick this on and then we'll just stamp our sentiment and then that's our card finished. What sentiment are you going with? Because there's I'm not some sure. good ones on that collection. We've got Christmas Blessings, Hark the Herald Angel Sings, or Peace, Love, Hope. Ooh, I think I wanted like a, a long one. So it'd probably be the Christmas Blessings. Okay. Yeah. Just because I wanted to do it, so it like overlaps a little bit. Ah, I see. So I'm going to... Ooh. I'm going to use my stamp and press this because I'm, I'm so not old. Oh, there's one. It's all right. We've got one. It's massive, it's this stamping one. It is very big. It's good for your sentiments, though. You're gonna, you know that the whole thing is going to be covered. <laughs> right, so I'll just put that back to one side. All right, so we're just going to stamp out our sentiment. I'm just going to use my trimmer just to trim that down. I can't believe how good this deal is though. The I know normally. Is this so are good. these the lowest price this has ever been? Damn. Ooh. It is. I believe it is. 20 48 watercolor pencils. Incredible price. So it's 19 pounds if you just get the pencils by itself. But for twenty four ninety nine, which is what you would pay for the pencils anyway, you're going to get that handbook and your watercolour pencils included. Crazy deal. These are the times where you have to get these products because they Definitely. are such an investment, but they're going to really sort of improve your crafting ability, um, what you can make with your products. So what a deal to get this on when you've got all of that, sort of that helping hand as well from the handbook. Right, and there you go. So I've just um, gone round the sentiment as well, just with that blue, just to she frame that as well. She looks so cute. She does, I love she? that. The effect that you can get with your watercolour pencils is it's amazing. A, it is and really there's good. so many different techniques um, that you can do with them as well that are all included in that handbook. So make sure if you're going to get your watercolour pencils, you uh, do it in the bundle because you're going to get um, the pens, which are great, and you're going to get the handbook, which is going to help you along your journey um, with crafting with them. So next up, and this is a good one because these are brand new. Um, we launched them on Friday's show. They were on Creating Craft at the weekend. These are our Glimmer Mist. So here, um, these are all of our new colors. We do already have um, 12 um, new colors as well if you want to mix and match because they're £4.99 each or you can select any three for £12, which is a really great that deal. So really we have, do we have the whole collection as a bundle as well, Dan? You can get all Ooh. of these Glimmer Mists, um, the collection two, 12 brand new colours for um, £39.99. But if you just want to pick a selection of colours, then you can completely do that because there's such a great array of these colours. And the Prism Glimmer Mists are really good, so they're a great size. Um, they're quite large in comparison to other sort of sprays like this that people um, sell. You've got um, a cap which is going to keep it all inside. And then all of our um, Glimmer Mists have like a, a little ball in there to make sure that you can get all of that fluid. So once you've released that, you'll be able to see that that shimmer and shine is starting to come off the bottom. And that's what you want. You want all of the glitter to sort of rise up through the um, water that we've got in here as well. And then you can spritz these um, and spray them. This one is a really cool colour. This one is our aqua green and that's from the new selection. Um, but there's 12 all together. And then we also have 12 of our new ones. So let's move this to one side so we can show you all of those colours um, because it's really great. And you can, you can spray these on so many different cardstocks and get so like so many different results. So these are the new colours. Um, we've got mulberry, we've got peach, um, then we've got our misty rose, lavender. Um, on the second row we've got um, the ash, the violet ash, um, rosewood, 
moss green, which I actually really like this colour. Yeah, ram it. It's really, yeah. really nice. No, it is really nice for like Then we've got the, the forest green. Then the aqua green, which is probably my close second yeah. favourite in these colours. And look how they shine when you move them into I know, the light. They are very shiny. Oh, it's amazing They're what you blue. can create with these. We've got boy blue, um, the steel grey and the powder blue, um, which I used um, on a card that was on my Facebook over the weekend. Um, but they are the different colours and they're so so shiny so just spraying them onto different colours you can create some amazing techniques so on here wrong one again we've got these are sprayed onto blue and there's a mixture of colours in here so you can see how they all lie on top of each other as well and you can create some really funky backgrounds um, but this is on a piece of white card doing it on a piece of black card Ooh, and look how that changes that is so different you can create some amazing galaxy backgrounds with these um, you can create some really cool backgrounds if you use your die cuts as stencils, if you use some stencils that you might have. Um, stamping as well, you can stamp, um, spray your stamp with them, stamp it down, that gives you quite a cool effect. Um, but there's loads, again, so much you can do with these Prism Glimmer Mists. Um, and they're on such a good deal as well. Um, $39.99, but I think I like the deal that if you buy... Um, and they're three for two. So you yeah. buy three for two. It's a great deal. Do you want to show the VT? Oh, we'll show the VT. those cards they're super super fun they're all really different as well which I love because it shows you um, the different types of things that you can do when you get your your sprays home so next up we've got um, a really good deal on our ink pads so we have um, this deal on both ink pads which is incredible lowest they have ever been so first of all if you want say one color or you've already got our ink pads um, but there's some that sort of are losing their juice, they've dried out a little bit, um, then you can buy any six of our ink pads for £9. That's really good. That's How like, mental is that? That's just over a pound each. Six that's for crazy. £9. That's insane. So you can get that on our um, Prism ink pads, which are our plain coloured, or that deal is also available on our Shimmer ones as well. Um, so our ink pads, they come... Um, in these really cute little squares, um, but they have these little grooves on, which are perfect for if you're holding them, if you're inking on, if you're stamping, it makes them really easy to hold, um, to keep a hand on. Then when you take this off here, that's where all um, the ink is stored in this little um, base here, and they that's are. Where the magic happens. I know, they're <laughs> super, super inky when you get these home. Another great thing that we um, all have on our ink pads here, at Hunky Dory is they have a little space in the oh, back. Oh, this is brilliant. And this is really great for someone. For people who are avid ink, uh, stampers, inkers, they use their inks yeah, a lot. This is perfect. So ink. we all have on here, we've just used a little piece of um, Velcro and then we've added our pads to the back. So we have a pad for every single ink pad. You can't see it when it's straight, so it's going to be clean the whole time, um, but you can just pick pick them off and use them every time. Um, they're really, really great. And they come in a huge array of colors. So this is all the colors that we do in our Prism ink pad range. Um, oh, it's endless. There is it's so absolutely many crazy. Colors. There's 36 colors that you can choose from in total. And they range from um, different pinks through to yellows. We've got different oranges. Really nice selection of greens, which you would think, why do I need so many greens? But You'd trust be me, surprised. <laughs> you need those colors in your life. Then we've got the blues, and then right at the bottom, we've got those really nice um, beige tones. Um, go, moving on to those browns, which are great for when you're coloring in um, your people. Um, if you're someone who likes to color in your with your stamps with your ink pads, you can do that. You can stamp them onto um, 
your mat so you can use your watercolor pencils again to pick up the color use these as paints um, use them to stamp your images so they're all in color um, backgrounds, backgrounds and everything and they blend into each other so well so well. nicely and we're not talking about blending a pink into a pink here are oh, we no, rachel no you can blend a pink green into, into a blue you can blend <laughs> um pink into a brown yeah. it will look amazing they're all water-based ink pads so they're great for using with kids um so if you're stuck in over the summer um the weather's not as good as it is right now then you can get really fun crafting with the kids so that is the 36 ink pads the full collection is the lowest it's ever been as well 39.99 for all 36 ink pads um, and then we also have our ink pads in a shimmer collection so these are exactly the same colors as we have in our full um, collection however these ones have got a little bit of um, mica involved in them which means you can add a little bit of sparkle and shine to your projects um, it looks amazing doesn't it yeah and it, it's, it's so not much like fun that much but it, it's just enough just to enough like to add that little bit of shimmer shine. to your projects the bundle isn't available on the shimmer ones because we have one or two that are just out of stock oh no but the individuals, you can still do the six for nine okay so we, we don't have this available on the bundle because some people i guess over the weekend have got a bit busy yeah. got buying that bundle um, and we've got some colours that are not available anymore. But if you want um, to stock up, if you just want some of the greens or some of the blues, if there's some colours here that you think, wow, that's going to look amazing um, for making my Christmas cards with, then you can just pick up any six for £9. An amazing deal. Absolutely amazing deal. Then we have our ombre Ooh. ink pads. Now these ink pads look a little bit different from the ones that um, we've just shown you. These ink pads are more rectangle in size. Um, I'm gonna open this up to actually show you because I don't think we have one that is already open. Um, so we'll open this up to show you exactly what it looks like. But there's um, a really large array of different colors here. And th these are perfect for people who like to mix their colors to because there's one, there's three colors in one and they all blend perfectly together. So if we open this up, you can see you've got sort of strips of color here, um, but they all blend really nicely together. So if you wanna create a background, then you can swipe the whole thing across. You've got oh, your ombre background. If you want to have ombre um, lettering with your stamps, then you can stamp your um, words across your ink pad and it's gonna go from light to dark. Um, the same with image stamps lots of different things like that they're going to be perfect also um they're a really good alternative if you don't necessarily want every single color that we have in our 36 ink pads then you can just get um these eight ink pad selections and you've got all of those colors um in there and they are on a buy one get one free so you buy one you get, you get one, one free. free. <laughs> That's how it works with those ink pads. And then finally, we have, do we have? I'm not sure if we do. Oh, no, we do that here. Our gilding flakes. These are really, really cool. Oh, this show is just full of some great stuff, isn't it? Um, our gilding flakes. Now, it might look in here that you don't have, that there's much. not that many. But. but I can promise you, this stuff expands like nothing else. <laughs> Um, it's crazy, isn't it? And it, it gets really absolutely is. everywhere. Oh, Rach, yes. pass me one of the, that box that you've got there so we can show everyone. So this is in your pot. Rachel's put hers here in some of our storage boxes and there's loads. And that, that isn't like a full like container. No, you know I mean? it's not. It's yeah, crazy. They're all, it's all in there. It's easy to get out. We've got some escapees as you can see here, um, but it's super, super fun. Um, Rich is gonna show you some uh, things that you can do with them. What I like to do with them is to create really fun backgrounds, is either use strips of tape, um, double-sided tape, pop it onto your cardstock, um, and then you can um, rub it away. You can use our double-sided adhesive sheets. You can cut your dies from your adhesive yeah, sheets, and stick, stick it, it down, peel it off, put this on, and then you're going to have either your words or your um, images all sort of sparkling in these amazing colours. There's three in total. We've got gold, we've got this beautiful copper, 
um, and we've got our silver. Now these aren't just great for card making, these are great for loads of mixed media um, projects that you might be doing at home as well. Um, you can make some, maybe you've got a drab mirror or something in the house that you're like, do you know what? I need oh, to yeah. add some life back into yeah. this. Maybe it's a pot, maybe it's a pot that you keep your plant in. Um, and then all you need is some double-sided tape, a mm. little bit, um, rub it onto the sticky sort of surface and it will stay. You can use some sort of um, hairspray or like a, a sealant, I think Crafters Companion do one, um, which you can seal your projects with. Um, and it's just gonna add a really nice effect to your projects. So buy one, get one free. Um, so you're gonna save £3.99. They are £3.99 per, per tub which is great value because these tubs are whopping. You get six, is it, is it six or nine grams? It depends on whether you turn it upside down. Let's what? say six, because that's, it's safer. Okay, I'm sure, I, I feel like it's nine. But I'm not sure. Because they are really so light. I thought it they? said. I thought it said it on here, but no, it doesn't sound like much. But I promise you, yeah, it really is because you don't it's need that much very light. at all, do you? Um, so let's go over to Rach because she's going to show you something really fun that you can do with yours. Right. So I'm just going to make a background with these, which is very quick and simple. So you know you're saying about double-sided tape. Yeah. So we're going to use our double-sided tape to make a background for our card, and then I've just got a Christmas sentiment die to just put on top so first of all so i've got a six by six card blank now i'm going to position my card on my mat so that i've got so i can know where to put the tape so that oh, it's that's a good hopefully idea. straight <laughs> so we're going to do it at every inch so i'm just going to do it at that one and then that one. That's a really clever way of doing it. Yeah, and the best way to do it as well is so you have when you put on the flakes so that it's actually on the card blank. It's just to put your tape so that you can cut it. Oh, so you're not missing yeah, out any Yeah, so bits. you're not missing anything. Yeah, because when you peel that tape off, those edges, sometimes it goes it, a little bit short, doesn't it? And you're like, oh, no. But no, and then there's like that what, tiny little what bit. What am I going to do here? Because... I've got nothing left. Like, <laughs> what? What's the plan next? Right. So we're just going to very carefully now take that uh, off the board. And I did have my scissors. Oh, there they are. They're hiding under everything. <laughs> right. So you're just going to then. Trim that just away. Trim Such a good away idea. That way. I'm always so fast to just like peel it off. I know. And be like, it'll be fine, but then your but edges don't look good. All right, I'm just gonna put that waste to one side. And then now you need to make sure that your tape is like all pushed down, and there's no little bubbly bits onto that. And I'm just gonna take away. That other side. There's so many cool stuff coming up, Rach. I know. I, think I know there's even more. My favourite's next up. Oh. I love colouring with these pens. Right, and I'm just very carefully just going to take each of them strips of tape away. But I'm guessing if you wanted to, you could. You could do this in one colour, then cross hatch, and, and do then do a different colour. Yeah, create like yeah. a little tartan. tartan. Yeah, you can do that. What's also really cool because we do our double sided tapes in lots of different sizes yep. is that you, you can could change the dimension of the stripes as well. Uh, so they can be loads of really cool colours. Oh. And then I'm just going to go on the other side, just turned it around, and then I'm just going to put it, put some more tape. This is going to look really cool. This side. I'm hoping so. But this again is another project, uh, another yeah. product, sorry, that when you get it home, experiment with it. Exactly. Experiment with there's it. There's so you know, much in the box that you can like afford to like mess up yeah, and, and we, just figure out what you like to do. I think I'm definitely a crafter that loves to get something home, do a little bit of research, yeah. try some different things that I've found on maybe 
online, maybe on videos like um, we do here at Hunky Dory where you can get lots of different um, inspiration for how to use them. Have a look at what you can do with these, these products and then just give it a go because that's when you find out some yeah, really cool no, ways so much that, of doing stuff. And you'd be really surprised like what you can do and you'd be like, that, nah, that, surely that wasn't made with a... So we're just going to take the tape off these ones as well. So would that have been the moment that if you were doing two colours... Yeah, you, that you, you do one, tape, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then do the other. But because I just want it one, one colour. I needed to take the um, tape off underneath, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get it off. But like just thinking about it, we've got so many different like plants here. Like the plant up here is like a concrete, like, I'm not joking. These are really expensive to buy. This is a, this is a concrete pot, right? And you can buy these from anywhere. You can buy them from B&M's, Home Bargains. This concrete pot, if you want to jazz it up, you know those pots that you see that are like half concrete, half all golden and look really cool yeah. and cost a ridiculous amount of money? We bought one this week. You bought, how, was it expensive? It was £18 something. Wow. And yet the one without the, the, the golden stuff on was about three quid. Well, you know what you should have done? I know. You should have bought Just the concrete go, one. Yeah. Add some sticky stuff. <laughs> add some glue. You can add glue. Wait till it's really tacky and dry. Add your gilding flakes on it. You've got an amazing plant pot and people are going to go... Where did you get that from? So, well, I, made you get that from? I made it. A couple I made of quid. It. <laughs> made it. Rachel's getting really stuck into this now, oh, though. I am. <laughs> so I've already started just to... So what I'm doing is just picking up just little bits and just putting it where the tape is and just using my finger just to rub it and then it will just... It, it just sort stick of to the tape adheres, and, doesn't it, to the yeah. bits where you want to. And then all these little bits that are popping you can off, keep. we can brush them up, we can keep them, we can put them, pop, pop them back in the, the sheet, you can add them to the top parts that you still need to do. It's really, really quick and simple to do. It really is. And it's really fun. Oh my God, it's so like, It just fun. like stick to you a little bit. And but that's all part to, of it. Can you use like two colours at the same time? At the same so you time. Put yeah. Some copper in there yeah. And yeah. Mix it together. Yeah, you can mix it together so you could create like a really cool sort of mishmash of colours. Um, you can, you don't have to just use one colour like Rachel's um, chosen to do on this card. You can mix them all up. You could create an ombre. Yeah. That would be really cool. I think if you are going to do that though, just get a little bit of each out because yes. obviously once you do, don't them get on, it all they out. will mix. <laughs> yeah, do, do not get it all don't out. Don't get it all out. <laughs> do one bit at a time. And they're really good as well because you can see like the shininess of the goldenness, but then when you look closely, I don't know, it's like a different It's like, like a brassy effect, effect yeah. isn't it? It's, it's like that really old nice. gold that has those little dimples in. Um, it's really, really pretty. And it, it's just so on trend as well, I think, at the moment, that sort of look. Um, that brassy old style. Do you know what? You could even when, use this for jewellery making. You could. When, when you had all the tape still on, yeah. Yeah. you could have gone into the squares with colour. Yeah. With, yeah. Uh, what's called pencils or yeah. the to, you could, Yeah. You sprayed it with mist. You could probably do yeah, it that's now, a good one. I like but that you would one. have. It you would, would have you would gold. have those colours over the golden. I don't think it would repel the colours, um, and because you don't want to add water to it. Because obviously, if you add water to it, then it's going to sort of remove that that the tape, so the the gilding flakes isn't going to add on. But oh, it's really lovely. cute. So I've just um, now you'll probably know this, Nat. Where is this sentiment from? <laughs> this <laughs> sentiment like? is our Merry Christmas sentiment, which we brought out with our Little Red Robin collection. So that was about Yay. two, <laughs> three weeks ago. Um, I can't mm. believe it's gone so I know. fast already. We've this bought month. out so much since then. But it's a really good sentiment. It, it really doing is. Doing stuff like this where you just want to create a really funky background to have a large sentiment over the top to sort of bring it all together, they work really nicely. It does. So I've just cut, so there's two parts to this dough. You've got the outer part that will cut out the mat. So I've just cut that out of um, black mirror and then I've got some gold mirror just for the sentiment But bit. if you wanted to create that gilding flake effect on your sentiment, then, you then cut it out of double side, cut yeah, it out definitely. of um, our double sided adhesive sheets. Um, take the first layer off, 
throw on your gilding flakes, then you're going to have that um, on that big image. And these, because it's so big as well, that sentiment, you can be making like little hangers throughout the house, yeah. um, ornaments with these, decorations, frames, um, and throwing on your gilding flakes is just going to add something very special to it. Right, and there we go. It's a very, very cool product, isn't it? And it, it didn't take that much time either, it but didn't. when you look at it, you think, well, how did you get the gold on the background? How did you get it on there? How have you got those spaces? Why have you not got gold where those spaces yeah. should be? It's and really cool. You can create some really cool things with it, but don't take that much time. No, and because I've used double-sided tape, you could do it like horizontal. You could just do, just go crazy with it. Do you know what else I thought about then? Oh. Resin. Resin projects oh, yeah. are really, really oh, cool. And Loads then sprinkle of people it do it. Yes. And then they sprinkle the little gilding flakes on and then that would look amazing. add different colours. It looks super cool. You get that sort of really nice gem gemstone effect when you do that. Um, but you could do that with your um, mediums. You could be spraying your Glimmer Mist. You could be creating um, in the Glimmer Mist handbook, if you get that as well, there's a, a project of adding your Glimmer Mist solution to bubble solution um, oh, and then you yes. blow that onto your cardstock and it sticks in different places you add a little bit of um, glue there wait for it to dry put some gilding flakes on and you'll create that sort of gemstone um, really nice looking effect i think there might be a project in the handbook that that shows that i can't remember because it was a very long time ago but i think there is a project um, with step by steps for how you can create that so next we have our prism craft markers <sighs> my oh, absolute yeah. favorite thing um to color with because they are they're just amazing there's so much you can do with them the the coloring is so vibrant it's so versatile it's amazing and there's so many of them so there are 14 sets in total one set looks exactly like this you've got six different colors and they're all sort of on this color wheel. You can see how they all work together. They're in sets that blend nicely together. So what is different with your craft markers to your inks is that you, you have to put specific colors yeah. together um, yeah. to blend those colors in. But look at the array of colors that you get here. And there's loads of different um, selections. So we've got yellows, we've got purples, we've got darks, which have your moodier, darker tones. If you're creating um, different shades, we've got pastels, turquoises, browns, um, which are great for your skin colors. We've got blues, um, warm grays, light grays. There's loads of them in here. Um, and you can download this board as well off our hub so you can create your own, you can create the colors um, for mixing them and the easier to see what colors work That's with a really what. Good, I've never seen this board before. It's really, really, really fun. Um, so you, I'm sure you can download it on the hub. Yeah. There's access to it. Um, and then this is just an example um, from one of the pages of the handbook um, where you can see how you can create those light shades um, when you're coloring in hair, when you're coloring in fur, um, so this is an amazing bundle. It's um, all 14 packs and your handbook, which I can tell you, it, it's got an amazing array of techniques Different in, stuff. especially for using these alcohol markers. Um, in your pastels, you also get your colorless blender in here. Oh, now your colorless is blender is useful. different from other blending pens that other companies do. So. A lot of companies do all sets of pens and then you buy your blender separately and that's because your blender acts to mix both of your colors together. With our craft markers, um, what you have, which is great, is that the colors actually blend themselves together. So if you're gonna do something, maybe you're coloring a leaf and you want the, the detail or the center to be darker, then I'd always recommend going in with the darker color first. Um, and these are, again, really, comfortable to color in with because they have this really great sort of pyramid um, s triangle. So you've got two different ends here. You've got a thicker end if you're coloring in a large surface like a background or maybe you're creating a nice sky and then you've got your thinner end. So your thinner end you'd go in as your sort of detailing bit. So if I was coloring in a leaf like I said I would go in with the darker color on my insides all the little sprigs and stuff and then I'm going with the lighter green 
and I'd use my chisel tip, I'd go over the whole section mm -hmm. and then I'd go over those darker elements and it will blend your colours together. You, the blender in our prism craft markers works more as an eraser, I would say. And this is all detailed in your handbook, it's all there for you to um, go through. So if you want to create textures or patterns, so maybe you're creating um, fur or you're wanting to create like a, a brick texture, then you could go in with brown and then you could use the chisel end of your, um, your blender pop it down in squares and it will lift the colour from those sections. It sort of pushes it. So wherever you want, if I use it quite a bit if I go out of the lines. Yeah, yes. And then you can sort of push in, push in the colour, push the back <laughs> colour back in no one will past the line. <laughs> no one knows. So it acts as that sort of like eraser more than it acts as um, a blender to blend two colours together like other companies' pens do. It's a great product. My ultimate favourite for colouring in are our craft markers. It's a huge bundle um, and look at that price. It's supposed to be a hundred, it's basically a hundred and fifty pounds but you're going to get it for 69.93. More than Le half price. Like price. it's more than half price. You will not find these no. craft markers at this price. And that's not even all of the packs. It's it, not. There's there. packs missing here but that <laughs> isn't even like you're also getting yeah. a handbook in with this. We, yeah. we forget about that. So you you're getting the education like learn to, to learn how to use this product. Mm. You're getting all of the colours, which is amazing because there's so many of them, for less than half price. And we do our Prism Craft Markers maybe twice, three times a, a year at this amazing price. So when it's at this price, you have to get it because you don't yeah. want to be paying... No, you don't, you don't want to be paying, paying 100 if, and, if you can get it for that. that 150 pounds. No, thank you. <laughs> 69 pounds. Yes, please. But again, if you already have our craft markers, then you can get any three for two. So if you've got some that are, um, maybe you use them regularly. I definitely use a certain green a lot more yeah. than I use my other greens. Um, because they are alcohol based, um, and you do probably need to replace them if you use them all the time, um, then just get in three for two, stocking up on the ones that you use the most, then that's a great way to do it as well. Um, I love these deals. I know. I love deals. Okay, so the next one we have is our brush markers. Now, our brush markers are a water-based um, pen. So they're different from our craft markers because they are alcohol-based. Um, our brush markers are water-based. Um, and we have two offers that are on an amazing bog off. So these are our buy one, get one free <laughs> on our antique dreams and our pastels. Um, these colors work really nicely together. Um, but again, these pens work beautifully um, with your um, water brushes. So those water brushes that you can get for £4.99, they've been out of stock for absolutely ages, you then get these. them <laughs> if you're going to get these pens because they work so well together. Again, like with our pencils, you can just use them flat on some watercolour cards um, or you can add water to this and it's going to blend and create this beautiful smooth sort of surface. Um, this is These pens are really good if you want to create that really nice watercolour effect more than your pencils because the ink is sort of thicker, it lies on your cardstock more so if you want that really nice wash um, with maybe a floral stamp then this is the product to use. Our brush markers, just like the um, alcohol markers, they're triangle, which I absolutely love. We're carrying they, it on. They stay on through. the table. They do. There's no sort of like, they, with the same with this one is actually. Yeah. There's no sort of rolling off and you can't find it because it's under your <laughs> table. They stay where you put them. Um, you've got two ends, so you've got our br the brush nib, which if you are an avid sort of um, calligrapher, if you like yeah. trying out your brush markers, your brush lettering, then they're a perfect um, nib. What's the word? Yeah. They're, they're not um, too soft, it's not too hard. When you are going sort of they like... They do like move quite Up and easy, down. Yeah. They move really nicely, don't they? Um, and then you have, which is great oh, for yeah. all those tiny little spaces in your stamps, we have the um, fine nib end. So you can use both ends, they're exactly the same colour, um, and you can use them in exactly the same way if you've got a small section where you just want to add a little bit of colour and then drag it out with your water brushes then that's the end for you. If you're colouring in large areas again then your brush mark, your brush end is another one for you. Another 
amazing thing about brush markers is that they also, we do a handbook for those as well, where you can get full inspiration, hints and tips, techniques for getting the best out of your product. Um, because we don't just want to want you to buy the products. We want to be able, we want yeah. you to be able to get the best from them um, and to be able to learn on the journey the way that we did when we um, got these products and we put them together for you guys because they are really, really good. Um, yeah. So buy one, get one free on those two packs. Um, so it saves you 40, it saves you 15 pounds. What a deal. What a deal. Um, do we have, oh, we've got one thing left to show, which is our pearlescent powders. Now these pearlescent powders are something else because <laughs> they say they're one color, but they're, but not. they're really not. It's like a magic trick, isn't it, Rachel? It really is. It's crazy. Oh. I've dropped them on the floor. So there's four sets in total. Let me just go get the other two. Just pop <laughs> down to, to the, the shop. <laughs> I'm back. Um, so we've got four sets in total. Set one, you've got your classic colours. So you've got your gold, copper, and you've got your silver. Set two are our pinks. And um, sort of, we've got a blue in there. However, it does have like a really, yeah, there's, so there's many loads different of different in colours it. inside this. So we've got, you've got your pink, you've got your purple in here, and then you've got this nice blue. Um, set three are more sepia tones. So you've got a bronze in here, you've got a, a sepia in here, and you've got a rose colour in here, which is more of like a, a brownie pink. And then set four is the craziest set of all. <laughs> so we've got a green, a yellow, and an orange, but... But when are you they? <laughs> exactly when you mix these in different ways the cr the different backgrounds you can create the different textures you can create are amazing so i'm going to show you some boards here um, and what we've done on these boards is we've used our um there we go we've used the glimmer the powders in different ways so this first section here um, we've put our a little bit of glimmer a little bit i'm getting it mixed up a little bit of powder in with some water yep. and then we've brushed these onto here to create a really solid block effect. And that is very solid. Color. It's amazing isn't it? Yeah. The next one we've added a little bit of powder into a spritzer with water and we've sprayed it on and that creates those really nice yeah. sort of washed glimmer effects. Then on here we've put the powder directly onto the surface and then added water. And you get that beautiful um, like fizz effect where it oh, really sort of explodes. That. And the colors that come out when you do this are incredible. There's that so many different colors like in there. Blue in it. It's crazy. And then the third one, we've used an embossing ink pad and then we've brushed over with like a, like oh. a round sort of like bronzer bl okay. brush or makeup brush. Um, and we've brushed that over the top um, and then we've set them all with um, hairspray because it works really, really well um, with that. Yeah, that's what you need, one of these. <laughs> like a big round brush. Brush it on, you'll get it all off. Um, so that's set one. Um, so you can see there you've got those really nice essential um, gold, uh, copper and silver. Wow. Then it's that's crazy, bright. isn't it? It's That's crazy great. how from one set you can create all of these different textures, pa patterns. It's amazing. Um, set th three is those sepia tones. Um, but look at this. There's pinks and blues and purples. And you wouldn't even think of no, that to come don't. out of here. The same with this I one. You've got greens one. on top of this one. It's That's amazing. madness. But it looks so good when you do it um, and then this is the really fun one as well with those greens yellow and the orange um, and the orange having greens in it the green has yellow bits in you've got turquoise <laughs> in there it's insane of crazy powders <laughs> but you can see from these um, boards we've got here and the different effects that we've um, done on these that there's so many different uses for your mica um, pearlescent powders and they do get a little bit messy but so yeah. much fun another one to get home experiment with try all these different techniques out find one that you really like you can stamp with your because it works with your embossing ink you can stamp um, a sentiment 
or maybe you're creating a background in embossing ink, then brush over the powder onto that ink and you've got a glimmery, shiny background that's going to look um, really cool and it's going to stand out from all of the rest. So that's your pearlescent powders. Um, Rach, you're actually going to do a card with this, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm really excited because it's so much fun to work with. They are, and my hands are already um, like full of ink, <laughs> yeah, which is great. <laughs> so I'm going to use. So this is the Pensatia, um stamp from the Christmas collection that we just bought out. Now I've got a five by five piece of watercolor card that I've already stamped it on, and then I've also cut down. You've made the some like little layers, haven't you? Yeah, and then then just to give it that more like them layers when we stick it all together so i'm just going to use my watercolor um pet brush and then we're going to go in so i've got radiant rose a glimmering green um, and brilliant burgundy and we're just going to go in with these so we're going to start with this ready color and we're just going to pick just a little bit up you just need brush. the tiniest bit, don't you? Because yeah, and when you have a look at the powder, it when you actually put water on it, it is like a complete like different colour. It's they're just amazing of how bright they are. So we're gonna just go in. So we're gonna do it so that it'd be like that we're using our pens or pencils because they do spread really easy. And we're just gonna put a bit of dark over there just to give that bit of ah, shade. I see. And then they do blend in really well and then we're just going to go round and just blend them in so i just need a little bit water more water on my brush so we're just going to push a bit more through and the more water that you actually put on these the more easier they are to spread that color and you do need just a tiniest little the bit tiniest tiniest on your amount. brush and obviously if you do want it brighter when it does dry you can go back in Add and more. put some more in and there are them different colors and the packs do actually mix all together as well so you can use your different colors on these and you can see here like the more mica that you the more powder that you're picking up like the brighter, the, it, the is. brighter it is and different petals are looking different so it's it's creating a beautiful effect here and that you're going to have some really nice shimmers shining through they are so bright and when they dry as well the good thing is is that you can actually still see the black lines from your stamp they don't like cov cover that yeah. black completely so this is the color that i want my tomatoes to be turning <laughs> bright red they're but they're not, just not they're, they're, they're like, must have a hundred they're all really yeah, they've, they've got some big ones as well but they're not going red yet. Yeah? Have That's you actually have you tried colors. them? Yeah. No, like, no, not green. Can you not? Uh, oh, they're green. They're green, yeah. Oh, right. So we're going to go in, which is probably the colour of Dan's tomatoes, just we with these layers. Dan's, <laughs> Dan's tomato green. And then we're just going to use these greens. So I've just got it all a bit wet and that red. So before you put a different colour down, you are best just to get some tissue and just wipe off that yeah, because that red. They will then go mix. on forever. <laughs> I can promise you. you get that so you need that. to make sure that your surface is sort of like removed of all the colours because they will stay yeah. on. They will mix. And this green has got to be my favourite one because when you spread it out, you get like an olive. It's yeah, yeah and it? it's like you can see like a bit of shades of like yellow. It is proper. Proper leaf colour. <laughs> so we're just going to go in and get a little bit more and just spread that out. But you can keep these in like little pots and um, maybe if you're, you can do what Rachel's doing here so you can dip your water brush in and pick a bit of colour but if you want to do this technique a lot, a lot of times what you can do is you can tip some of the yeah. powder out into a different little pot so it's add water to yeah. that and then create your own sort of paints you glist like glistening paints that you can use time and time again all you need to do is add water to reactivate them yeah they are really yeah. good you can mix your different colors together so you can create more variety to use from so you can create your add your pink to your yellow make it a bit darker add your red to your yellow 
um, it's the possibilities with oh, prison endless. products, like we said in the beginning, is endless. You can do so much with them, and they're just super fun. Right. And also, I think, do they? Am I wrong when I say this? Uh, do they all fit in? You know them um, four by six. Your little storage little boxes. boxes. Yes, they all they fit do. in there. They all fit in here. Um, so we've got our ink pads in one here, but we do have one in, with our powders in. I'll go get it because I know exactly. I was going to say where I, it is. I think I've got some at home that are in that box. I didn't know yeah. where I had all of them in there, but yeah. They are like the perfect size. So I've just gone in. So this um, part that I'm colouring now, it's just going to sit in the middle of the one that I've already done. So I've gone in with the burgundy colour, which is a bit darker, just so that you can, like it breaks it up a little bit and there are those different colours of petals. It's very pretty already. You've not, we've not even I built know, it up And it yet. is so shiny as well. It's, it's amazing, especially for Christmas cards as well, where it is like that magical, shiny time of year. They're just absolutely great. We've got it. We've got the, the tub with all our micas in. So you can oh, keep really, them all yeah. together. They all fit in here. It is a bit of a squeeze, um, but, but they, they do, do all fit in there. So you can keep them all together so you know that they're nice and secure um, and where they all are. Right, so if I was at home, I'd just make sure that these are completely dry. But because we haven't got any um, of them powders on that part, I think I, I think it will it would just stick, stick. Actually, really quite nicely. And then once we've stuck them all down, we're just going to go in just with a little bit more of each colour and just the parts that I might want a little bit more shading in, you can just go in and add those extra just elements. add it. And just on there, or even where like it hasn't quite reached that line. And I think the main thing is, is that if you just make sure, if you do want like a separate colour that that you are just wiping down your brushes before you actually add a different colour, otherwise it will all smudge into one, which isn't a bad thing. All right, so I'm just going to go in with them leaves. And then there's a bit of red there that I just want to get. Out. Just where it's, you can see the underneath bit. And you could literally, you could just keep on going, adding shading, just until you are happy with that. Right, so then I'm going to bring in this and then we're just going to just put some foam pads. I was going to just, one. on that white background, it's going to be crazy because it's going to stand out so much. I know. I was going to get some on my finger and just smudge it ah, around. But I think... That would look cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm not too sure whether it will, like, um, like, because when it's on like that, like, you can see... It like looks amazing. ...the proper colour and it's so bright. Oh, no, no. I did have a card blank. And we're just going to stick that to our card blank. This is messy crafting at its best, isn't it? It really is, but it's so fun and you can always wash your hands after as well, which is the main thing. Right. It's super pretty. This is going to look really nice. Mm -hmm. It frames this one's going to look amazing. Yeah, it will. And especially when like you start to cut down all the different layers, because you can see like there are those different yeah, layers there. Yeah, you can lift those up, can't you? Yeah create all that dimension to the card. And it's so shiny. It's so pretty. It really, really <laughs> is. It looks amazing on that, just that plain yeah. white background. Um, so what Rachel's used there is some of our brand new stamps that we launched um, on Friday show. You'll have seen it with Kat and Dan. These are our um, designer selection three. They're our Christmas um, selection. And these are all eight pounds, or you can get any two or three. I think it's three for 16, um, which is great. So this is our Christmas angel, the one that Rachel used in her first demonstration. She is just lovely. Then we've got that Ponsettia um, stamp that Rachel has just used with those mica powders, um, creating a beautiful effect. We've got our pile of presents um, in that tree shape. This again would look so fancy if you just use your pearlescent powders on all of the bows to make them look really realistic. 
Then we've got our Smiling Santa. These are all A6 stamp sets. You've got sentiments to go alongside all of your images. And then Stacey's added some little bit extras that you can create border strips with or backgrounds. You've got your Festive Elves stamp. I love how mischievous these elves are. They are. Um, they are really so are. <laughs> cute. Um, then our Mugs and Kisses stamp set. So this one you can use your masking um, sheets. You can create loads of different combinations with all of your little elements. We've got candy canes, we've got marshmallows, we've got um, whipped, cream, whipped cream, which you can add all together. You can create your little snowman in here. That's gonna look so much fun. And then to go alongside all of your stamps, Stacy has created an A5 Essential Christmas Sentiment Stamps. Now for anyone who likes to use stamps inside their cards, this is a great addition to your craft stash. Um, it's just gonna add so much more. You've got so many different um, sentiments in here. So we've got festive memories, we've got joy to the world, happy new year, um, it's the most wonderful time of the year, seasons greetings, Christmas cheer, um, and all the different fonts are gonna work for lots of different um, people in your lives that you're sending your Christmas cards to as well. So a nice little addition, 32 different stamps on there. Um, and they run from traditional sentiments to really fun ones, depending on who you're gonna send that to. Um, so that's another item um, that we've used on today's show that if you wanna get a, your chance um, to get your hands on it, then you can do so by going onto the website, um, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk, have a little look around because there's lots of lots of new products, loads of amazing deals on the Prism um, products that we've shown you today. Um, so get on there, have a look, see what you want because it won't be round for long. This offer is up until Thursday um, and then the prices are gonna go back up and you're gonna be so mad with yourself if you don't get yes. it at a good price. So make sure um, you get on there and have a look at what you can get. Um, we'll go through our Win It Weekly question once again before we leave you for the day. Um, so this week you have the chance of winning our Forever Floral Summer Splendor collection. Um, it's a topper set and um, there's four different designs in there and you're gonna get two of each. Um, including cardstock to go alongside with it. But all you have to do is like, share, and comment on our video with how long is a moment? I don't think it's any of these answers, personally. I know. However, is it 90 but what seconds? what is a moment? Like, how do you, like, uh, How do you describe that? <laughs> yeah. How do you do it? Sometimes this question like is just... I mean, we could be here for hours. How long does that take? <laughs> we could be here for hours in yeah. a moment. Who knows? Who knows? But it's 90 seconds, 7 seconds, or 25 seconds. How long is a moment? Did we just take a moment to ask the question? Did we just take a moment? <laughs> Did we just take a moment to think about what was a moment that just was? just a separate moment? <laughs> who, who knows? Who yeah. knows? But five people will know the answer to this question, <laughs> um, and they're going to win that top of collection on Friday's show, so make sure you're here. Um, you don't miss it, because Fridays are all about giving things away. Yeah, um, I'm going to spin the wheel, have so much fun. So, what's coming up this week, I heard you say? <laughs> what's coming, coming up, up this, this week? week? Um, this week on Create and Craft, we have a brand new um, top collection. It's called A Child is Born, and it has beautiful religious artwork running through it all. Um, it's not one to be missed. It's going to be perfect for those people who do craft stores um, in their local churches, um, people who um, have different... Um, it's just lovely. Dan's yeah, going to bring some colours cards. Are so I can nice see you it. fiddling. I wondered what I you're going to do then. <laughs> Should we have a sneak peek? Because Ooh. it is beautiful. Um, some amazing imagery throughout this. Um, here's one card, a little fold back with those images on. It's all gold foiled. Really rich royal um, colours in here. It's Look at that. It's so lovely. I think and here's another one. There was a, a bonus decoupage topper. There is. There, there yes. is. It's not just four toppers. Actually, you're going to get an extra topper as well. Um, to decoupage up your little stuff to go oh with my gosh well. there's some amazing things but we won't speak too much yeah. because you need to check out that show um but we'll be back here um on wednesday um to give you another sneak peek at the show to show you what you can do with it so 9 45 tomorrow in the morning on creating craft watch out because pauline's going to be there with a child is born um, you don't want to miss it because i do think it's going to be very very popular um but that's all from us We've shown yeah. you loads and loads of products today. There's so many deals. There is so much So stuff. many <laughs> deals. Um, you're going to be able to create some amazing products. Get really into yeah. crafting. Have so much fun experimenting with all these different mediums because once you've 
learn how to get the best out of these products, then you're going to be able to create the best them. type of cards yeah. um, with them. We have one more thing. We need to add our um, a product to the rollover box because that's not been one in ages. Um, it's our pearl gemstones. We're going to be popping them in. Um, but we will be back on Friday. Wednesday. 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 You're skipping a half. I, think, I keep thinking trolley it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's a trolley dash if you didn't realise. Um, a trolley is dash. It really? so it is. So join Dan and Rebecca on Wednesday for a trolley dash. Even more deals, more reasons to spend your money. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you.